Hospitals in New York and California are struggling to handle the surge of COVID-19 cases. So how would Utah be able to handle a similar surge? We've all been hearing uh, the national news that the next couple of weeks will tell. Dr. Sundwald is the former state director of public health. He has also been on the forefront of the state's preparation for pandemics. That gave us a bit of a leg up in anticipating this one. One of those areas was one you mentioned, and that's uh, the importance of having surge capacity. Utah currently has about 700 intensive care unit beds and about 5,800 hospital beds. Nate Carlisle and Aaron Alberti from the Salt Lake Tribune are looking at how those beds would fill up. It's not just the infection rate. Um, the issue is how many people require hospitalization and how many hospital beds we have. Assuming the virus spreads slowly over 18 months, if one in five Utahns are affected, likely our ICU beds would be overrun, but not our hospitals. If two in five are affected, both would be overrun, and if three in five are affected, both would also be overrun. This is assuming a 20% hospitalization rate, but a little bit of good news. Right now, Utah is only seeing about 10. Um, a lot of states are seeing 20%. Um, and so uh, we're better than the curve there. If the virus spreads much faster, we would see our beds overrun if 20% or more are infected. When the peak hits is a concern, but it's not just about when, but where. You know, in Moab, there's no ICU beds. So Utah could be on a downtrend by the time Moab has a cluster. We could wind up with a lot of deaths in, in southeast Utah. Hospitals around the state are, however, working to build new facilities for care of individuals with COVID-19. The main takeaway, flattening the curve by social distancing and staying home will make all the difference. I mean, as everyone said, this is absolutely new territory for us. We're rewriting history. We're writing a new chapter. Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.